All right, gamers, welcome to the video. I know I'm a bit late on the topic, but I've been seeing an influx of this lately and figured I'd put out this video in order to educate everyone out there, as well as help others understand what this is. For those of you that don't know, outside of YouTube, I am actually a certified cybersecurity professional, so when I notice things like this that come down to the basic principles of awareness, I want to make a point of trying to help educate those who might not see it just yet. Yes, today I'm talking about what I'd like to dub as the l.instagram.com scam that I've seen and heard of running rampant on social media, especially on Twitter. Now what this takes the form of is a person that will send you a DM on Twitter and it will look like the following. So it will have your display name followed by a link that says l.instagram.com slash question mark your Twitter handle followed by a strand of random characters, usually numbers. Now I have a few examples from a few that I have received in the past right here. Now what this appears to be is a legitimate link to Instagram, of course. It entices you to click on the link because it is your handle, which either you know is yours, or it might make you think that there is an imposter that might be using your at and this person is sending you the information about that. Now of course neither of these are the case and it is actually a scam that you need to watch out for. You are actually now the recipient of this link because the person who sent it to you has been tricked themselves. And that's the thing, you will receive this from a completely innocent person extremely far removed from the original attacker. And this is all spread through innocence. Let me explain. See, the l.instagram.com link is what's called a link shim. And the prefix of the link starting with l. Dot is designed as a redirect, and the hash characters at the end of the link is a path. What this does is it will send you to Instagram's website at the end, which is what you might imagine it will do, but in the meantime, the L dot and the random characters at the end put you through a bunch of redirects going to random websites, and it's possible that along the way this can actually expose your account in a variety of ways, allegedly. I cannot say for certain how it's done because it varies, but some users who have clicked on it have reported their account stolen, or when they return and get their account back in their hands, they say what happened, being that their account was compromised. I believe it to either be a brute force attack or more likely a prompt that will have you enter a password and such, which is an illegitimate website asking you to do so, which gives the exposure, also known as the common phishing scam. I have not tested it myself because obviously I'm trying to avoid being a victim or exposing myself, so as I said, I cannot confirm what type of attack it is. All I'm saying, you see it, you avoid it. In short, all this is, is it's a link that someone whose account has been compromised will send you, you click on it, you get redirected to a bunch of malicious websites, something could possibly be downloaded, or you expose yourself by entering sensitive information. In turn, it spreads just like a virus should, as every compromised account sends links out to everyone in their DMs, and the attackers are solely hoping that it spreads and more people click over and over and over. If I were to guess, I would say that this is likely done in order for a bad actor to artificially increase network traffic through a channel of redirects to one or multiple websites, all while having a virus spread like wildfire to ensure that the influx to their website won't ever stop. Now let's talk about the most important thing, and that is mitigation. You can easily avoid these types of scams, whether it be through social media, email, or what have you, by simply being educated. If you are sent something you didn't ask for, or you have the notion that it could be illegitimate, don't click anything. Even so, if you are suspicious, you can always look up what you see, because other people likely have seen it and are talking about it on the internet, and you can find the info pretty quickly. Forums and Reddit threads are your friends. Chances are someone else is also curious. If in doubt, don't click it. And secondly, remember that two-factor authentication is also your friend. Now, I previously mentioned brute force attacks, and that is an attack that goes for people with low security using common, easy-to-guess passwords. If you have extra security, it's mostly a useless attack mode and you don't have to worry about it. In almost all aspects, you will be safe with the two-factor authentication. And of course, if you have your accounts linked to a phone number or email, you'll be notified if someone or something is attempting to enter. And that, of course, gives you time to deny them, change a password, and secure yourself before they can do any damage. A lot of these scams exist solely because people aren't careful or aware, and it spreads from one person to possibly millions because of one failure to notice. So again, if you are unsure, then don't click it, and always secure your account if you can.
And before we go, I want to show off another scam that I've seen in my own DMs, this time through Instagram. This one, which I've seen to be a little less common, is a fake link that pretends to be a real thing, in this case being Shopify, prompting you with a message. Now it's pretty much the same thing as a spoof, and it's clearly a fake link that likely does the same thing, and does include your username as well as the fake link to make you think it's tailored to you. This happened twice to me from the same person actually, and the first time telling me that he specifically worked on something cool for me, and the second time making me think I was duped, and that they quote, took all my shit. Both of these are designed with the hope that you will be enticed to click on it. And of course, one last time, as long as you don't click it, you'll be alright. That's going to do it for the video. I hope this was helpful, and if you're watching to check in on a recent link you have received, well, now you know. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and more than ever, take care.